The Bruiser waits. Burst on the scene with the likes of Tyler Bate, who was the first ever United Kingdom champion, and Trent Seven to form British Strong Style. But he's now moved off on his own and become one of the great young up and coming superstars in WWE today. Very rarely will you find a superstar who derives as much pleasure from hurting their opponent as Pete Dunn does. Well, Pete Dunne has earned the right to have a reputation that precedes him as one of the most feared superstars in all of WWE. The icy stare of Pete Dunne is unsettling because you know he's about to hit you in the mouth. Corey, what should we be on the lookout for here in this steel cage match? Cole, you can bet both of these superstars will be looking to use the cage to their advantage as much as possible here tonight. At least they should be looking to do that. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Backbreaker flawlessly executed. Boom! Ooh, hoo, hoo. Ooh what impact. the impact. You gotta believe this one's over. This might be it. Oh my. I say every superstar remembers their first match on Raw, but for Pete Dunne, Byron, his first match has a little extra special meaning as it took place in his home country of England. Well, not only that, Michael, but Pete Dunne also walked away from that match. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. You're not going to win many matches that easily. Too soon. established that Pete Dunne was successful in his first Raw match, but to me, the biggest takeaway from that was that the 23-year-old didn't exhibit an ounce of nervousness in front of a sellout crowd of nearly 15,000 in his home country on a big show like Monday Night Raw. That's because Dunne oozes confidence. He was dominant that night because he knows it's just a matter of time before he'll be back on Raw and in the main event, most likely. According to historians, looks like she wants the win early. And Jericho pops the shoulder up. So resourceful. She dodges that one. What a stomp. Good grief.
Corey, you gave us an impressive history of the origins of the steel cage match. I'd like to point out to our viewers that from the 1960s through the mid-1980s, chain link fences were used to enclose the ring for WWE steel cage match. Here comes Chris Jericho! Oof. Is it enough, though? Oh, man, Dunn is in trouble now. She counters before it's too late. I think she's... Here we go. Oh, no luck against Dunn there. Too quick. She fights out. But that doesn't mean the damage wasn't already done, Michael. Oklahoma slam. WWE made history in 2017 with a tournament to crown the inaugural United Kingdom champion, which I was lucky enough to call in person. And in that tournament, this man, Pete Dunne, emerged as the next can't-miss superstar. Oh, nasty impact. Boom! <laughs> Beautiful technique. Oh, what impact. I'd agree with what Michael was saying about Pete Dunne's performance in the UK Championship Tournament. If you didn't know him heading in, you sure as heck knew who he was coming out. I'll tell you one person who definitely knew who Pete Dunne was after coming out, and that's William Regal. Regal was absolutely irate after Dunne launched a pre-match attack on his second round opponent. Harsh impact. Nailed it. The rivalry between Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude began during the Super Pose Down at the 1989 Royal Rumble. Then it progressed to where both superstars battled over the Intercontinental Championship. At SummerSlam 90, the rivals met inside a 15-foot high steel cage for the WWE Championship. Victory could be achieved by pinfall or escape from the cage. Corey, the WWE Championship match between the Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude was the second half of the double main event at 1990 SummerSlam. The rivalry between the Warrior and the Ravishing One was so heated. This singles match has come to an end. Wow. Now let's get another look at some of the high points of that one. She's taking care of business. Look at her go. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. Tremendous showing tonight for Pete Dunne. I got a feeling we're going to be talking about her for a long time to come. We've got an animated crowd here tonight, as we usually do when we're in Orlando.